Apple knew tonight 10 on your side is getting results for a DMV customer who says he spent months fighting with the DMV. He says they charged him not once but twice for his vehicle registration. Nothing was happening for me, so I was pretty happy. I was pretty happy to hear back from you guys that you were able to make it happen. Scott Sheedy says he's been fighting with California DMV since 2023. He says it all centers around a $499 check he sent in August for his vehicle registration. Uh, I kept checking my account to see if it had gotten deposited. And uh, when it got to August 30th, I said, well, it hadn't got deposited. So then I went to... Uh, DMV online and I, you know, sent them money via my electronic funds transfer. And I didn't, really didn't think anything else about that other than, uh, you know, now it's paid, so I won't get a late fee. And uh, lo and behold, around uh, September 14th or 15th, they cashed that check that I originally sent. And ever since then, Scott has been trying for months to get his money back. Yeah, that's correct. It was 499 bucks, and I actually went into a DMV office in Rockland, and they said, I'm sorry, we can't help you with that. And I was like, okay, well, I sent in two refund requests in the mail and uh, went into a DMV, so I, I didn't know where else to go. So he contacted 10 on your side. Here is the email saying, hopefully you can help. I could sure use the $499. I call the DMV immediately and take a look. A DMV customer service representative sent me this response. I will request the department's accounting unit to issue an expedited refund check in the amount of $499. Once the expedited refund check is created, I will overnight mail the check to Mr. Sheedy and provide a tracking number. You got right on it and you made your, you know, made contact with your people and and uh, I'm I'm completely happy. And keep in mind, we got that response from the DMV in less than 24 hours. ABC 10 is here to help. If you have a problem and don't know where else to turn, email me at onyourside at abc10.com.